Lake Seminole for those who play along her shore, motor across her surface, or live on her banks, she is an old friend. Lake Seminole is a very important resource to Pinellas County. It's one of the few uh, freshwater systems we have that have uh, recreational opportunities available on it. Uh, residents and, and homeowners can access the lake from uh, the Lake Seminole Park on the southeast corner of the lake, and they can go out and boating and fishing and water skiing and, and enjoying those different opportunities. And yet, Pinellas County's second largest freshwater lake has suffered water quality challenges almost since it was created in 1949. The land that was flooded to make the lake contained centuries of nutrient-rich sediment that fed algae. Then in the 1970s, the Lake Seminole Bypass Canal was created to control flooding. Unfortunately, that also reduced water flow into the lake, making the water quality worse. By the late 1980s, the conditions were so poor that Pinellas County and its partners set out to reverse the trend. Through time, the Lake Seminole Watershed Management Plan was developed. Later, a reasonable assurance plan was adopted by the state with the overarching goal of achieving water quality standards. The watershed management plan for Lake Seminole was developed in 2004 and the goal was to identify best management practices to restore the lake's water quality uh, and, and uses of the lake. So we had uh, quite a few goals uh, out of that watershed management plan, one of them uh, being the Lake Seminole Dredge Project, which uh, we're about to start here. From 2019 to 2023, the Lake Seminole dredging project will remove an estimated 900,000 cubic yards of organic sediment, ridding the lake of 416 tons of nitrogen and 77 tons of phosphorus. Funding for the $19 million project comes from the Penny for Pinellas, the Southwest Florida Water Management District, the Legislative Appropriation, and the Restore Act. Residents will still be able to use the lake but are being advised to stay clear of the dredging equipment. End result will be cleaner lake water, cleaner lake bottom, more fish, uh, less invasive plants, more native plants, and uh, overall just a more aesthetically pleasing lake. Rather than truck the sediment to an off-site location, the county has chosen a far more cost-effective approach. We will establish a dredge material management area on county-owned land between Lake Seminole Park and the Cross Bayou Little League baseball fields. The county's contractor will use a hydraulic dredge to remove organic muck from the bottom of the lake and transport it to the management area. There, it will be dewatered and clean water will be returned to the lake. This is the actual cutter head of the dredge. This is gonna spin around, it's gonna agitate the sediments, and then just like a vacuum cleaner and the roller system of the vacuum, it's gonna agitate all the dirt and the fines, and it's gonna go up through this volute, up the ladder to the pump, and through the temporary pipeline to the dredge material management area for settling and cleaning. The sediment will eventually form a 15-foot high berm that will be topped with sand and be made available for new uses. Some of the ideas that have been floating around are, are using it as soccer, baseball fields, or using it as pack of re passive recreational trails uh, as an extension of the Lake Seminole Park trails that are already there. For homeowners who live on the lake or one of its coves, like Jim Gill, the start of the dredging project is an exciting development. The county's been pretty good about holding meetings periodically, and uh, I know myself and a few others have, have been very involved in attending the meetings and kind of setting some direction, you know, what limited direction we can give them. If you look at the lake, we've got several people on the lake that ski professionally. Uh, a lot of people boat on the lake, fish on the lake. Water quality has been steadily improving at Lake Seminole through implementation of the watershed management plan. Most notably, four alum systems have been constructed to capture stormwater before it enters the lake and treat it with aluminum sulfate. Now comes the dredging project, which will have the biggest impact yet. And it could make a profound difference at Lake Seminole Park. Lake Seminole Park's a hugely popular park. We're seeing over a few hundred thousand people a year in visitation. We benefit from a long shoreline uh, along the lake. And of course, there's the boat ramp. So the, the, the lake is a, a prominent feature, large attraction for the park. The boat ramp at Lake Seminole Park is the only public access uh, to the lake itself. So with that being said, of course, water quality is gonna be of utmost concern. Cleaner water in Lake Seminole will be an enhancement for all residents and visitors. 
Without that, the recreational value probably isn't there. People are going to come for the fishing, the water sports, uh, nature appreciation, so uh, water quality is going to be a, a top concern.